The FNCS Global Championship has wrapped up and we got to witness the completion of the greatest chapter from a duo ever as Peter Bot and Puyo win the FNCS Global Championship and that along with their two first places and second place in FNCS Grand Finals make up the greatest chapter ever from a team in Fortnite and a year we will never see again. And it wasn't easy but Peter Bot once again popped off today getting not one. Can he find the final fight here Dukes? is excellent in these type of scenarios up here, but it's just a little better. Up top, the high ground hit is good, and he needs to go. But two solo clutch wins. Oh, one more shot could do it. Peter Ball with the refresh, continuing to break through on the long ground. He's making the impossible happen. Queasy versus Booga up top. Takes him down. Queasy versus Peter Ball now. How badly do you want it? Queasy is looking for the tag. Both shots can easily go any way. Peter fights the first one. Can he get the second? And he's done it. He is incredible. And I'm not gonna lie, this might be the best solo clutch of all time, as Peter Buck clutched this game all the way from first moving zone as a solo and ended up winning the game while battling for first place against Queasy and Thomas HD who also happened to be the team he eliminated for the win. Peter Bot and Puyo absolutely dominated this year and did something we will never see again in Fortnite. And also after the FNCS Global Championship, we got a crazy announcement that trios will be returning next year in 2025. So after three years of duos, we will finally be going back to trios for the first time since chapter two. And also with the 2025 announcement, Fortnite will be testing different versions of Siphon in tournaments next chapter to see if it will return to competitive. And this is awesome to see as everybody loves Siphon and it truly makes Fortnite competitive that much better. Also, the FNCS prize pool for next year will be going up by over $300,000. And in 2025, the prize pool for FNCS will be $8 million instead of a little over $7.6 million. So even more to look forward to in 2025, as we will be having trios returning, Siphon returning, and a larger prize pool. Now I want you guys to comment down below what you think of the 2025 announcements, and if you're as excited as I am. Now let's go back to the FNCS Global Championship and finish the recap of the leaderboard. And we saw Queasy and Thomas HD finish second place and sadly Thomas HD finishes second yet again. And sadly Queasy finishes second place at land yet again. But this placement cements Queasy as one of the best, if not the best IGL of all time. And also further cements Thomas HD as one of the best players of all time. Then we had Trulex and Chicho in third place. Fico and Flixie in 4th place, Ping and Walks in 5th place, Chap and Teeny in 6th place, Bolts and Bryce in 7th place, Dukes and Sphinx in 8th place, Rapid and Batman Booga in 9th place, and then Gapco and Swizzy in 10th place. Awesome to see Swizzy finish top 10 after his teammate couldn't even make the land, and also shows you just how insane Swizzy is, and it also makes you wonder how good would Swizzy and Vanya have done if they would have been playing instead of Swizzy with a fill. Then moving on to the top 20, we have Clicks and Vino in 11th place. Sadly, Clicks and Vino just didn't have the tournament a lot of people expected from them. Then we have Ritual and Reed in 12th place. Same story as Clicks, just not really the tournament people expected. Baka and Pars in 13th place. Aviv and Buga in 14th place. Another pretty disappointing placement. Buga and Aviv were in the top 10 going into the last game, but sadly died. Pixie and Yanis in 15th place. Rise and Agers in 16th place, who weren't even supposed to be in this tournament, so finishing 16th place is insane, and they'll definitely take it since they weren't even supposed to be playing. Then we have Gon and Kwani in 17th place. Huddy and Kovacs in 18th place. Badil and Rezon in 19th place and Kanata and Cooper in 20th place. Kanata and Cooper really struggled this weekend, but it's really hard to play when you're getting half of your PY split. Them and Teeny were splitting the Nitro Drome, and it just didn't work out for Kanata and Cooper. Chap and Teeny are a much better team at playing with Shambles loot, as they're a lot more aggressive. Kanata and Cooper just aren't the same aggressive team that Chap and Teeny are. And then lastly, rounding out the top 30, we have Paper and Victor V in 21st, King and Phaser in 22nd, Cami and Seti sadly in 23rd, one of the teams predicted to get top five this weekend by pretty much everyone with a very disappointing placement. X My Poli and Coyota in 24th, CZB and Nathan in 25th, Cold and Acorn in 26th. Sadly, Cold and Acorn dropped from 5th all the way to 26th on day two. Cold woke up and was feeling sick, and sadly, they just didn't have a great day. Died off spawn a couple times, so sadly, Cold and Acorn dropped all the way to 26th place. Epic Well Muzz finished 27th. Sky and Scroll finished 28th, 
G-Ross and Chari finish 29th, and Shadow and Virgo finish 30th. And if you guys want to see the full leaderboard, I will have a link down in the description below with the full leaderboard if you guys want to see that. Overall, the FNCS Global Championship was super fun. It was really intense, and we actually got to see a pretty good finish between Peter Bot and Puyo and Queasy and Thomas HD. It came down to the last game. That's what people wanted to see, and it happened. And Peter Bot and Puyo played super well, and so did Queasy and Thomas HD. Respect to both of them. Peter Bot ended up getting five wins, putting on one of the best performances we've ever seen at a LAN. And I'm not going to lie, this actually might be a better performance than their Grim Gate performance since this is on LAN and they got five wins and absolutely dominated. A performance like this, I'm not going to lie, might even put Peter Bot up in the GOAT debate. Peter Bot now has four FNCS wins with three of those being back to back to back and a three P. And he also has a land win now. So I definitely think Peter Bot could potentially be up there in the GOAT debate, maybe with the likes of Booga, Marrow, Taysen, Queezy, and Cami, all of the legends of Fortnite. Peter Bot definitely deserves to be up in that conversation with them. And Poyo, once again, might be getting a little bit overshadowed by Peter Bot being as good as he is. But Poyo is still a fantastic player. And I think this team in trios is going to pick up somebody insane and keep dominating. And if you guys don't know, I think Peterbot wants to play with Cold and trios. And I think a trio of Peterbot, Cold, and Poyo would be absolutely disgusting next year. I don't know what three players in the world would be better at fighting than this team. Even if you combine every single region and try to make the greatest trio possible at fighting... I think Peterbot, Cold, and Puyo are just going to be a better fighting trio than them. I think these are three of the best, if not the three best fighters in the world right now. And all three of them on one single team would be unstoppable. But I also want you guys to comment down below some trios you want to see next year. So comment down some trios you want to see on EU, NA, or maybe some other regions if you're a fan of other regions. And let's see who y'all are trying to see team up. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new or returning viewer and not yet subscribed to the channel. Thank you guys for 15,000 subscribers. Let's keep going and keep climbing and let's get to 20,000 now. So make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. And also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like so more people can see my recap of Globals going over the leaderboard, talking about Peter Bot and Puyo's historic year, and also going over the 2025 FNCS announcement and letting you know everything you need to know that was in that announcement. That's going to do it for me in this video going over the FNCS Global Championship. It was a super crazy month of content. Once again, thank you guys for all the support on all the videos recently, all the streams recently, and all the tweets if you guys see my Twitter and know me from Twitter as well. Thank you all for watching this video and I will see you next time.